Um, first things, guys, I don't know if you realise, but when the, um, the familiar landscape was coming into form, Italy kicked a goal ah, yes, and said goal. Course. Well, that hurt. <laughs> after the, after the so Euro sorry. exit. Well, so Steve's you, Italian. I'm part yeah, Italian yeah, and uh, a huge uh, so soccer or football fan, as mm. it would be over here. Yes. And so we, ha we had to have a soccer moment. And it's really only because Italy was afoot. You know, so you're not cutting that out for the UK market then? <laughs> Sorry. Be, be prepared. <laughs> um, guys, obviously it's a great big family film and unashamedly I wanted to give my daughters a big hug afterwards. Obviously that's um, a big oh. importance to you, is it? Uh -huh. Oh, absolutely. Film? Family is the core of the Ice Age franchise yeah. from the beginning. It's always been about a strange group of characters that came together and they kind of are a little bit dysfunctional but they work because they love each other. And sure. that's been the, the overriding theme of the franchise is the power of family. Yeah, and I've been living, Manny's yes. story is a story I'm living. I've got two teenage daughters. <laughs> My older daughter is, uh, next year she'll go to college. And Steve mm. was pulled out into the ocean recently. That's and right, on that's a, right. Drift on a piece Not as hairy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, not quite as hairy. <laughs> um, do, and you guys, you work together on Horton? Well, I was an animation yeah. supervisor yes. and Steve was, uh, was a director. So how did your roles on here, how, how was the differentiation? Well, you know, the, the great thing about uh, the collaboration that Mike and I have, with, when these movies get rolling in full production, we've got close to uh, three, four hundred people doing <laughs> various things on the movie. Yeah. And Mike and I come from different disciplines. Mike's uh, an animator, he's animated these characters from the very first mm. film on through. I came through an art direction background, so we have a very natural way that we uh, divide and conquer work if we need to. But when it comes to the storytelling, the cinematography, yeah. and the work that we do in editorial, we do that together and we stay on the same page with that. It's a bit of a mini marriage. Yeah. <laughs> in a way. You know, we're running a household, mm. you know. And so. you're still talking as well. <laughs> yeah, right. We're not Absolutely. divorced yet. No demarcation uh -huh. line. <laughs> right. Um, so we're working with the actors. Is that something you enjoyed? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We That's... had such a phenomenal cast. Yeah. And uh, each time we go into the recording booth with them, we get to see the uh, characters come, come to life in a new way. Sure. Well, it's one of the immediate things in animation. Animation generally takes forever, mm. right? So, yeah. so you're, it's, you're seeing it very incrementally yeah. happen, but when you work with an actor, it's like you're on set and you're getting the performance right there, live. And um, we were so lucky to work with so many talented people oh, yeah. that it was like you're, you're seeing people at the, the height of their game and uh, bringing their amazing skills to work on your project. Yeah. So. Sure. There's that one chance in there for improvisation. Yeah. You know, where they start to bring something and like, oh, that's brilliant. Let's mm. let's lay on top okay. of that and keep yeah. working it. And that's where the characters, really, they kind of come to life in a way that you don't expect. So for animation, how does that work? Then do you bring the guys in during the film, the making of the film, or is it at the end of oh, the no, film? No, no, no. The best way to do animation um, is, is to record them right up front. You have to oh, okay. describe the scenes sure. to them and kind of set them in the environment, mm. which admittedly is a little difficult for them, I think, but mm. they, they get into it pretty quick. And then we take those, well, we call them sound files, you know, at that point, the, the, the lines, we take them back to the animators and they put their headphones on and they just listen to it over and over again. And they know mm. the scene they have to execute and they pull all the little nuances out where, where they will maybe pause and how they will take a breath. They'll look at the footage we shoot of the actors and try okay. and like, not copy the performance, but use it as inspiration. Because if you did it the other way around, we would be trapping the actors and what the animators have done. Sure, okay. Yeah. So obviously um, there's always great baddies in the Ice Age mm -hmm. series and none more so than Mother Nature for this one. Yes. So <laughs> yeah. Obviously that's another big part of the, mm -hmm. the trilogy, the environment. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, been, yeah. yeah, I think that's been one thing with, uh, with our characters is that the world and the challenges of that time period, sure. uh, of course we've, we've uh, broken the Pangaea into continents in a much faster fashion mm. than I think it happened in reality. Uh, and Scrap wasn't at the... Exactly. <laughs> yeah, our, our science is a little dodgy. <laughs> just, just right. tell you right now. That's right. But, but I think one of the things that the environment provides us is incredible scope mm. um, sure. and danger. You know, uh, to put our characters in peril mm. and, and see how they react. See Manny, you know, on this passionate quest to get home to his family, no matter what he's going through. Enormous waves or yeah. being cast out to sea as, as Earth is ripped apart. I mean, that's kind of fun yeah. for us to imagine and create. But the real villain, I mean, which we haven't really had since the first Ice Age in terms of a character, is Captain Gut. Oh, yes. Because yeah. in the first Remarkable. movie, we had the evil tiger, yes, Soda. Yes. Um, and then the other two movies, it was definitely environment or mm. creature driven. So it was fun to have an actual personality that was opposed to Manny, that was like, I believe in this, and Manny believes in that, and they're going to butt heads. Well, there's some hard-nosed guys watching the, the screening with me, and these things here through the waters were 
well, they, they got you. Oh, that's they fun. really yeah. did. We, we've they gotten did. a lot of compliments, and, and that's kudos to Blue Sky and their yeah. their technical abilities have just gotten better and better. That a lot of people asked mm. us like, "Did you shoot that water live? Is it a live action play <laughs> you put in?" Yeah. And uh, and it's no, it's all yeah. it's all done back there. Amazing. Like I, I spoke of Family Feuds at the beginning of it, and just to create another one, who's your favorite characters? Who would you? <laughs> well. <clears throat> we split this each time. <laughs> yeah, we choose a different one each time we get asked this question. Well, you know, I will, I will say that for this movie, mm. uh, Captain Gut was one of my favorites mm -hmm. because of what we got to create. Yeah. Mm. Uh, we got mm -hmm. to start, we, he's mm. brand new. Yeah. Uh, Peter Dinklage, the voice, is phenomenal. Mm. Uh, but he's a great character. He's physically big, uh, he moves like an orangutan, mm. so he can move vertically. He's got that uh, mix that the animators created just wonderfully, where he's yeah. a mix of animal, and then we'll hit a pose that's very pirate captain-like, and uh, he's a phenomenal uh, foil uh, for Manny. Mm. Yeah, I would say new character for me would rather be Captain Gut, uh, potentially Shira. I think is really cool. I, like I love that the Jennifer Lopez helped Jennifer that Lopez. choice. Oh, yeah, right. Well, you know, Mike's, she's Mike's still remembering recording. Yeah, yeah. Fond the cards marked now. <laughs> no, she's a great counterpart to Diego, and mm, uh, sure. I think she she looks beautiful. She's got mm. a great you know personality. Yeah. So I like her for classic characters. Um, yeah, God, I love Sid or Scrat. Mm. Um, yeah. They're just and because I animated on them on the on the first and second yeah. film, I have Coming a special home. attachment yeah. to them and. and uh, I just feel really lucky to, to have been able to work on them.